Viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know. Where in the world is... Carmen San Diego. This is Dwayne Watkins. He enjoys singing, designing and building toys, and harassing his two sisters. This is Hope Villella. She has won spelling and storytelling contests, and she came in second in the Science Olympics. This is Ned Dishman. He plays baseball and the clarinet, but not at the same time. And this is Patty Larceny, Carmen Sandiego's dimply Dorian of duplicity. But, 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 Patty... Her last known whereabouts? Williamsburg, Virginia. From 1699 to 1780, Williamsburg was Virginia's capital. It was home to George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and about 2,000 others, half of whom were slaves. Williamsburg's colonial glory was restored in 1926. And today, many of the 10,000 permanent residents recreate life in the 18th century, wearing colonial-era clothes and demonstrating period crafts for thousands of daily visitors or they did until today, when Patty Larceny tootled into town. She didn't just take snapshots, she took every bit of Williamsburg and filed it in her photo album. Gumshoes, it's your job to stop the Williams burglary. And here's at the senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee! Hey, hey, how are you? Ah. How are you, man? Oh, thank you very much. Good to see you. Hi, guy. Dwayne, how are you? Hope, Matt, good to see you guys. Hey, listen, I want to remind you that the one of you that, uh, if one of you catches Carver San Diego today, you'll get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that isn't bad. To help you out with that, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. And you guys know how this game is played, so we'll just get started right now with our very first clue, which is the Acme Crime Net computer. Follow me right this way. Okay, let's see what we have here on the computer. Well, okay, this is a, uh, well, this is a ballet tutu. And a note that is written in Danish. Now, you could conclude that uh, Patty uh, stole a cheese Danish from Archbishop Desmond Tutu. You could conclude that. You'd be wrong, but you could conclude that. So let's just, uh, let's just put this in the translator, shall we, and find out what this thing really says. Try this out here. Oh, yeah, this is working a lot better. Sure. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Okay, listen carefully, guys. Here it is. Patty is in the capital of a country north of Germany at the Royal Theater, attending the Burnenville Ballet Festival. Now, many of the sets and costumes for the ballet were designed by Queen Margaret herself. Okay, that's it. I love that. Okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Versailles, Stockholm, or Copenhagen? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital of a country north of Germany, Burnenville Ballet Festival, and Queen Margaret. Okay, some things to think about there. Everybody's ready. Dwayne, what do you think? I chose Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Hope, what do you think? I chose Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Ned? Well, I also... Well, I chose Stockholm. <laughs> you also chose Stockholm by yourself. The answer we're looking for is Copenhagen. Nice job, Dwayne and Hope. So that'll take you up to 60 crime bucks apiece. Ned, you have 50, but you're still in this thing. For our next clue, we turn to Agent Rhea Perlman of Acme Wealthy Waitress Net. Watch. Okay, gumshoes, I got the word on Patty. She's on a mountaintop line that runs from north to south. It goes through three national parks and 25 national forests in five different states. The line divides all the water in North America. The streams and rivers east of it flow toward the Atlantic Ocean. What was that? And the ones west of the line flow toward the Pacific. I knew that was coming. But Patty is only flowing in one direction, to prison. You know, actually, this is very refreshing. Ah, get it under here, too. Thanks a lot, Rhea. Okay, guys, name the line, if you will, please. Is it Tropic of Cancer, Longitude 90 degrees west, or Continental Divide? Remember the clues that we heard runs north and south, passes through five states, and all water east of it flows east, all water west of it flows west. Okay, come up with an answer as quickly as you can. This one may be a little, little difficult, but try to come up with an answer as quickly as you can. A little tougher on this one. Dwayne's ready. Hope and Ned are now ready. Nice job, guys. Dwayne, what do you say? 
I chose Continental Divide. Continental Divide. Hope, what do you think? I chose longitude 90 degrees west. Okay, Ned, what about you? I chose Continental Divide. Continental Divide. The answer we're looking for is Continental Divide. Nice job, fellas. Okay, so Dwayne, you're up to 70. Hope and Ned, you both have 60 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. Now, I'm really not sure exactly where our next clue is coming in. It's a video music clue. Oh, it's a Rick. video. Thank you very much. Well, here it is. Okay, we have the uh, video music cassette here, and we also have a, a note. Let me just pop this in here. Turn it on. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, I know this guy. This is, this is Diblo Dibala. Oh, yeah, he rocks. Let me just read this note here. It says, Dear Greg, I just saw Patty in my hometown. Some of Africa's most famous contemporary artists live there. Like the painters Pili Pili and uh, Menze uh, and sculptor Kalumba. So come to Lum Lubumbashi and pack Patty in. Man, I tell you, when I hear this music, I'm sorry, you guys. I just, I really got to dance. Ladies and gentlemen, the Acme Crime Net Dancers. Oh, yes. All right, guys. Name the country, if you will, please. Is it Zaire? Egypt? or Nigeria. Remember the clues that we heard? Uh, Lubumbashi, important musical and artistic center, and hometown of Diblo Dibala. <sighs> Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Hope is ready, Ned is ready, and Dwayne is ready. Dwayne, what do you say? I chose Nigeria. Nigeria. Uh, what do you think, Hope? I chose Zaire. Zaire. Ned, what do you say? I chose Ni Nigeria. Nigeria. The answer we're looking for is Zaire. Nice job, Hope. Okay, so, uh, Dwayne, that gives you 70 crime bucks. Hope has 70, and Ned has 60 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Okay, you guys know what that means. It's time for the lightning round, which means all of these questions are about Patty's most recent known whereabouts, which is Zaire. Hands on your buzzers. Each one is worth five crime bucks. Here we go. Which one of these imaginary lines runs through Zaire? Is it the international date line, the prime meridian, or the equator? Hope. The equator. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Takes up 75. Question two. You'll find more hippos in Zaire than any other place in the world. Now, the average hippo weighs a few thousand pounds, but the question is, how fast can a hippo run? Is it about five miles per hour, about 12 miles per hour, or about 25 miles per hour? Dwayne. 25. Is right. Nice job. How'd you know that one? When I read the question, I thought, this is crazy, but you knew it. Very good. Okay. Question three. This bill is Zaire's official currency. What is it called? Is it a Zaire, a Frank, or a Capybara? Dwayne. A Capybara? Sorry, that's not the answer. Hope? A Frank. Uh, it's not a Frank, no. Ned? A Zaire? It's a Zaire. Nice job, yeah. Yeah, a Capybara is a large rodent that lives in uh, South America, but uh, I would have guessed that too, I think. Okay, so that means at the end of that round, Dwayne, you have 75. Hope has 75. Ned, 65 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. Nice Greg, job. step into my office. Oh, yeah, Chief, I'll be right there. If you guys will just excuse me for a minute here. You know, the Chief really can't run this place without me. What's up, Chief? Uh, Greg, I need to borrow a quarter for the ice machine. Oh, is that all you wanted me for was a quarter? No, it's just the first thing. All right, let's see. You're in luck here. Try those. Oh, great. Greg, what are these? I've never seen coins like this before. Chief, come on, look. Nixon on the front, blank tapes on the back. 12 and a half cent piece. Greg, the ice machine will not take these coins. No? No. Oh, you're kidding me. Try these. Here, try them. All right. Okay, a dime, dime and... What the heck? Greg! What? This coin has Millard Fillmore on it. Right. It's a 15 cent piece plus the dime. It's 25. Simple arithmetic, Chief. A 15 cent piece. Yes. Yeah. Fillmore on the front. Yes. And, and oh, there's a motto on the back. What is it? It says... Every time you watch the show, write down what got stolen and from where. When you've collected four loots and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to this address. Acme Crime Net, PO Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen t-shirt. That is incredibly small type. Yes, it is. Let's show them a one today. Go 
Congratulations to the winners. Hey, Chief, take a look at this. Very proud of that. Take a look. Ozzy Osbourne. You better believe it. Negative 35 cent piece, Chief. Greg, I still can't use these coins in the ice machine. Oh, say. Now, there is an interesting model on the other no side kidding. of this one. What is it? It says Gregorius Scramus Autus. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. Gregorius Scramus Autus. I'm going to have to look this one up. Yes, Greg, you do that. Very funny. Okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for Patty and Williamsburg. Now, fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Patty and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Oh, Carmen, this colonial lifestyle's no fun. They don't even have computer games. Sorry, dear. Acme is closing in. Head for a Brazilian state with one of the world's longest rivers. Oh, I know the state you mean. Most of it's covered by one of the largest tropical rainforests in the world. Right. The perfect place to hide, Williamsburg. But you won't have time for computer games there, either. Oh, that's okay. I'll do my second favorite hobby. Identifying jungle insects by phylum, genus, and species. <laughs> she has so many varied interests. I didn't know that. Okay, guys. Uh, name the Brazilian state, if you will, please. Is it Pernambuco, Paraná, or Amazonas? Remember the clues that we heard? Brazilian state with one of the world's largest tropical rainforests and one of the world's longest rivers. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Everybody's ready. Nice job. Dwayne, what do you think? Pernambuco. Pernambuco. What do you think, Hope? Greg, I chose Amazonas. Amazonas. Ned, what do you say? Greg, I chose Amazonas. Amazonas. The answer we're looking for is Amazonas. Nice job, Hope and Ned. Okay, here's how we stand. Then Dwayne, you have 75. Hope has 85. Ned, 75 crime bucks. For our next clue... One, two, three. Wait a minute, I, can, I think I feel a musical interlude coming on. Take a look. <laughs> Listen, Greg, Woo! Patty was with Williams, but she hit the road. Now she's in the Baltic Hills, yeah. In between Ukraine and all Romania, using all her sneaky skills. The former USSR, you know, and That's where the first guy to loot our guys. The former USSR, Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Moldova, Latvia, or Slovenia? Remember the clues that we heard between Ukraine and Romania, former Soviet Union, and storytelling is a tradition. Okay, think about it, but come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Uh, who's ready here? Ned and Hope are ready, and uh, Dwayne is also ready. Dwayne, what do you think? I chose Moldova. Moldova. What do you think, Hope? I chose Moldova. Moldova. Ned? I chose Latvia. Lat uh, Latvia. The answer we're looking for is Moldova. Nice job, Dwayne and Hope. Okay, so Dwayne, you have 85, Hope 95, Ned 75 crime bucks. Now, we just received word that Patty left Moldova and went back to North America. So let's pick up the chase. Okay, guys, all these were the five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Patty took off for the Grand Canyon. What state is she in? Ned? Arizona. Arizona's right. Then she hot-footed it, it to the uh, capital of New Mexico. Name it. Ned? Santa Fe. Is right. She carted Colonial Williamsburg across New Mexico's northern border. Dwayne? Uh, Colorado. Is right. Nice job. Next, she hoofed it to a hideout in Jackson Hole. Ned? Wyoming. Is right. Party, uh, Patty winged it from uh, Wyoming to the site of the sun. Yes, Ned. Utah. Is right. Nice job, you guys. Nice round. At the end of that round, Dwayne, you have 90. Hope, 95. Ned, 95 crime bucks. Give him a hand, you guys. That's good. Wow. 
Now, this is a close round, you got a close game, you guys. Dwayne, you have 90. Hope has 95. Ned has 95. Now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, you'll, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme crime bucks, okay? Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Patty is headed. Now, if you think you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> Okay, looks like everybody's ready for our next clue now. We turn to the one and Fred, only. look. I just Steve. got this from Acme Junkanoo Net. Oh, well, Steve, it's very nice. Mm. It's very festive. But uh, what's a Junkanoo? Oh, it's a year-end festival that takes place every year in the capital of the Bahamas on New Providence Island. Now, festival fun seekers wear colorful crepe paper costumes like this one. And we just got word that Patty's there shopping for a costume big enough to hide Colonial Williamsburg. Okay, you guys heard the chief. Name the uh, city, if you will, please. Is it Freeport, Nassau, or Matthewtown? And the clues that you heard, capital of the Bahamas, located on New Providence Island and Junkanoo Festival. Dwayne, we're going to start with you. You have 90 crime bucks. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. This will put you over 100 if you're right. What'd you say? I chose Matthew Town. Okay, Matthew Town is not the answer we're looking for. Sorry, you'll go down 20, but this isn't over yet. Hope, you have 95 crime bucks, and you've been in the lead for a lot of this game. What'd you, uh, how much did you risk? 40. 40 crime bucks. What'd you say? I said Nassau. Nassau is right. Nice job, Hope. <laughs> Puts up to 135. Ned, you also have 95 crime bucks. How much did you risk? Well, Greg, I risked 20 crime bucks. 20 crime bucks. He's not giving it away by his face. That's what he said. What did you say, Ned? Well, I said Nassau. Nassau is also right. That means Hope and Ned, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. Dwayne, listen, man, you were a great detective. You, you tracked Patty all the way to the very last. We have assembled a great kid that's going to help you in the next case. Chief. This has been a tough, tough case. And we've never found Patty Larceny without your help. And to show our gratitude, we're giving you this Acme travel kit. Inside, you'll find an atlas, the official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And since all work and no play makes our gumshoe cranky, we found a way to combine the two. Use this world ball to study the globe. And then, when the work is done, take time out to perfect your slam duck. Okay, hey, Chief, calm down. I'll be careful. Okay, guys, now, you know we have to go to Nassau, try to track down Patty and Williamsburg. But I want to make sure that you've got everything you need. All I need is my hat right now. So, Hope, if you'll grab that door. Ned, if you'll follow her. If the rest of you will follow me. We're on our way. Take a ride out there. <laughs> Hail to the bus driver, bus driver, bus driver. Hail Greg, to Greg, the... Greg, Greg, that will be quite enough. Sorry. All right, guys, here we are in Nassau. Take your positions right over here, if you will, please. I have some very important information from the chief. Let me plug it in for you. Ah, gumshoots. There are 15 places here in Nassau where you might find Patty, the Warrant, or Colonial Williamsburg. Let's look at a few of them. First, Paradise Beach. One look explains the name. These Acme Beach Bike Net agents are doing a field drill. Next, the Nassau Government House, home to the Governor General. Built during Bahamas colonial period, could be a great spot to hide a colonial town. Then there's Nassau's Straw Market, said to be one of the largest such markets in the world. Say. Is that Patty hiding behind the t-shirts? Clip-clop through the streets of Nassau in a Surrey. That's our hoofnet agent pulling the cab up front. He's got info on Patty stashed under his hat. Now, that's your briefing gumshoes. Now nab that nabet in Nassau and recapture Colonial Williamsburg. Yes, 
man, we'll do it. Okay, guys, I just want to remind you also, you have to find the loot, the warrant, and the crook in that order in a single turn. If you do that, you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. You catch Carmen San Diego, you get that trip to anywhere in North America, okay? Who was ahead at the end of the last round? It was Hope, I think, okay? Hope, go ahead. You go first. Waterloo Lake. Waterloo Lake. Okay, nothing there, but we're on our way. Ned, what do you say? Potter's Key. Potter's Key. No, nope, nothing there. Hope. Grant's Town. Uh, Grant's Town. No, nope, nothing. Thank you very much. Ned, go ahead. Straw Market. Straw Market. Biggest one in the world. Okay, nothing there. Hope, go ahead. Great Cliff. It's Great Cliff. The warrant. Nice job. You got the warrant. You get a free turn. Remember, have to go in the right order. Loot warrant. Crook, go, Hope. Columbus Statue. Columbus Statue. Yeah, you've seen this play before. We'll turn these back around. And uh, go ahead, Ned. Prince George Wharf. Prince George Wharf. Nothing there. We'll turn it around. Hope. Queen Staircase. Queen Staircase. Birdle Bird. Mm, nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Gray Cliff. Gray Cliff. The warrant. We have the loot. We have the warrant. We need just one more. Can you find Patty? Bay Street. Is Patty at Bay Street? No, she's not. Sorry, we'll turn these back around. You're very close, though. And the loot as well. Thank you. Go ahead, Ned. Queen Staircase. Queen Staircase. Scott's been there. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Ned. Gray Cliff. Gray Cliff. The warrant. Have the loot. Have the warrant. One more. Grant's Town. Is she at Grant's Town? No, she is not. We will turn these back around and hope your turn. Queen go ahead. Staircase. Queen Staircase. Carried away from old Virginia. It's my favorite part of the show. Go ahead. Gray Cliff. Gray Cliff. The warrant. We have the loot. We have the warrant. Just one more hope. Junkanoo Museum. Junkanoo Museum. Is she there looking around the Junkanoos? Yes! <laughs> yes, she is! Good job, buddy. Oh, you see, oh, oh, it went off almost about, but you know what you have to do? You have to pull in the chain and put Patty in jail. We heard the sound, but we'll do it again. Go ahead. There it is, that time. Patty's in jail. Very nice. You used some nice strategy on that thing. That was very nice indeed. We'll talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. First off, Ned, listen, man, you were a great detective. Uh, we've assembled some great stuff for you. Chief, what do you say? Every day all around the Earth, the airways are buzzing with vital information. Now, to hear what's happening, you need a world band radio like this one. And because you worked so hard today, I'm going to give you the radio along with an Acme travel kit. And my sincere thanks for a job well done. Congratulations. Okay, very nice job there, Hope. Now, you know what this is all about? We have a, uh, oh, this is a portfolio, actually. Inside there's a piece of paper. There's also a pen. What we want to do. It's Am I boring you by any chance? I'll try to get through this as fast as I possibly can. There's a piece of paper, there's a pen. We also want you to write down where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get the trip. Here we go. Where do you want to go? Ooh, very nice. You're going to love it. Now, you've seen the show before, obviously, because you know all my speeches. So you know what's coming up next, right? Yeah. Watch. <laughs> Guess who it's for? I'm not even going to talk. Hello? I used to be a sweet, innocent schoolgirl. Now I'm a sweet, guilty schoolgirl, and it's all Carmen's fault. Go look for her in Africa. What'd you say, Hope? We're going to Africa. All right, then, Hope, you and I are going to Africa. Chief? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Mauritania. Cote d'Ivoire. Mali. Togo. Equatorial Guinea, Niger, Djibouti, Angola, Tanzania, Malawi, Mozambique, South Africa, Madagascar. Greg, let's go to the map. Bad. All right, hope all your buddies are here. You know what to do. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you. Here we go. On your mark, get set. Go, Carmen went to New Oxford, Maritania, Maritania, Maritania. Do it, do it. Yes, come on. Malawi, 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 Ulango, Malawi. No, try it again, try it again. No, come on, come on. Equatorial Guinea, Mongomo, Equatorial Guinea. No, try it again, try it again. No, come on, come on, come on. Maputo, Mozambique, Mozambique. You know this one, Mozambique. Do it, buddy. 
Try anything. No, try it again. Try it again. No, come on back. Come on back. And uh, Madagascar. Madagascar. Yes, yes. Johannesburg, South Africa. South Africa. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes, come on. Oh, out of time. Three and 45 seconds. This is a very tough map. Give her a big hand, you guys. Come here. I tell you, you're one of the fastest I've ever seen run this thing, but this is a very tough map. You did a great job. And besides that, you caught the crook. That's what we asked you to do. Chief, what do you say? We know how tough catching Carmen can be, but you did catch Patty Larceny, and that deserves special recognition. We've all chipped in to buy a portable CD player so you can listen to this library of music from around the world and this CD by Rockapella featuring our theme song. Listen with pride. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, guys, listen, uh, you guys have been doing a great job. Hope you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it, Rockapella! Well, she sneaks around the world from Korea to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul and start to reel. Baby, I'm going to cut right off the red sea to Greenland. Sing in the blues. Well, they never lost and saw her steal. The make up of the jungle. With acne gum shoes on the prowl, Carmen will throw in the towel. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. And as always, gumshoes, Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you.